All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is your boy TKD One Two Three here, back in here on PlayStation Source, and this came out this morning, right before I had to go to class. So I I cannot make this video earlier. I apologize for being a little bit late on this news, at least during the day cycle. You know, this this stuff we did come out today, but I was a little bit late on it. Apologies on that. But we gotta talk about this, boys. So this is uh, some interesting interesting stuff that came out we are gonna go into this dive uh you know this like way 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 thicker article in a little bit but i figure of course the homies at push square shout out to push Square. link in the description to both these articles uh you know they are they are very good at kind of consent you know kind of having the info in a very very concise manner and that's uh, give you some food for thought and then we'll go on to the bigger one when we have a lot of things to talk about in terms of that and a lot of quotes to read and stuff like that so essentially what's been going on here is that herman holst uh he was i believe the four Former head of Guerrilla Games, I believe. I'm trying to make sure I get my. Oh, he was previously the managing director of Guerrilla Games. He's been there for a long time. Um, I believe he was actually in the documentary uh, that No Clip did. Uh, of course, Daniel Dwyer shot to you know shot to the homies over there at No Clip, and specifically Daniel Dwyer shot to him. Um, I believe he was in the uh, documentary that, that that they did around Horizon Zero Dawn and the development of that game and and uh, stuff like that, but. So he's been around Gorilla for a long time. He's been a very, very, you know, well-established person in that whole, you know, development team and stuff like that. But now he has taken a bit of a upstep in his career, and he will be essentially taking in the helm of Shuya Yoshida. So Yoshida used to be, of course, the overseer of all of the development teams at Sony. Interactive Entertainment, and uh, you know he would definitely be the main person up, uh, making sure that all the teams got their ducks in a row, that they are doing their things in terms of, of development of their game. And it looks like he will now be taking that position as lead of the development teams uh, over at SIE. And Yoshida will be doing a very, very cool thing as well. We're going to get back to that in a little bit. But uh, we have the CEO of PlayStation right now, Jim Ryan. Uh, he spoke very highly of Hulse in a statement uh, with Games Industry. He says, quote, Herman is one of the most effective and well-respected well leaders in the video game industry. He is a passionate advocate for the team he leads and understands how to empower creative talent to build great experiences. I have no doubt Herman can lead our teams to deliver compelling and diverse and diverse experiences at a steady cadence and so you know obviously you know i feel like it's 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 pretty uh you know cut and dry that the ceo would definitely have good things to say about this new uh person coming into the fold at sie but i honestly believe him like i mean if if he had anything to do with where Guerrilla Games was before previously, with making, you know, Killzone, not the most, you know, groundbreaking game, not the biggest console seller, was 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 positioned to be when it when it first launched in the PS2 days, uh originally supposed to be the Halo killer or the Halo equivalent to uh the brand of PlayStation, you know what I'm saying? And to make something as good and as in depth and as fun to play and as incredible as Horizon Zero Dawn. Lately, I've been playing through Horizon Zero Dawn, the Frozen Wilds DLC, since I never got to it. I kind of wanted to just, you know, uh, play something that was in the Decima engine, you know what I'm saying? Because we got Death Stranding around the corner. Right now, it's one o'clock uh, as I'm recording this, so we have, man, about eight hours left. Uh, just under that, I think maybe no seven hours left. You know, we are we are almost here at Death Stranding territory, but. Uh, if anyone is involved in that transition of of games from a development studio, they are worth a lot. And clearly here, uh, you know, CEO Jim Ryan sees that as well. And so again, a big congratulations, you know, of course, to uh, I have to get Herman Holst. I, I I hope his name. I'm saying it right. I I hope so. If not, uh, my apologies. And they also have announced the replacing people that are going to be re that are going to be replacing Holst at at Guerrilla Games back home. And uh, it will be Angie Smiths, John Bart Van Beek, and uh, uh, Michio Van Deer. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry, guys. Guys, read the re Mira right there. These three people are going to be now doing like a co-heads of the studio. So it looks like the way the way this is broken down, this is kind of interesting. You know what I'm saying? Like the fact that there are three of them, you know, maybe because, you know, I mean, this is me just talking off off of the cuff. You know, I definitely don't know anything. Obviously, I'm just 
I'm just I'm just a 20 year old dude that talks about PlayStation a lot. That's it, right? But considering that there are three people now that are gonna take and kind of assume the responsibility of what Holst used to do, right? It make it leads me to believe that perhaps they could be working on three different things at Guerrilla Games. Like, of course, we have Horizon Zero Dawn 2. We talked about that this week as well. Uh, and, of course, they are talking as well about, you know, we have rumors that they are developing some sort of military shooter, maybe, you know, stuff like that. Not sure that's a a actually thing, but that that's kind of been in the rumor mill as of late. Uh, during the past few weeks and past few months is that uh, there's a potentiality that Guerrilla Games could be working on a military shooter of some sort uh, for PlayStation 5, right? But also, maybe they have a third thing going on or maybe the or, or maybe the third team is kind of just like in limbo, kind of goes back and forth and works on both the projects maybe or something like that. But I don't know. Not just me talking, but it, it just seems like, you know, rather than just appointing one person to the position that used to be one, I wonder why now it's three. Like, like it's very interesting, you know? It's very interesting, and there's probably some more to that story as well, but we will have to see. Meanwhile, of course, Yoshida, let's talk about his position now. Yoshida's new position now in Sony, in PlayStation, because he didn't leave. He's not MIA like Sean Layden or whatever, you know what I'm saying? He's not out in a single tweet, which that is its own story, you know what I'm saying? But... Uh, Yoshida is now going to be looking to involve uh, into smaller external studios in a new role within the company, and we will read about that. Does that lead to? Oh, a different. Okay, so you know what? Let's let's screw. Let's see if we can find it here, because uh, let's see here it is. Okay, Yoshida's. New Sorry, right here, boys. Sorry, right here. Read along with me. Read along with me. Oh my God, I look, I look so white with the with the with the page uploading but yoshida's new position is part of a new initiative quote celebrating external developers that are creating new and unexpected experiences he will report directly to jim ryan everybody knows just how passionate shu is about independent games they are lifeblood of the industry making our content portfolio so special for our gamers these wildly creative experiences d deserve focus and a champion like shu at playstation who will continue to ensure the entire sie organization works together to better engage with independent developers through a culture of supporting and celebrating their contributions to PlayStation platforms. And so it looks like, you know, this has been said a lot, right? And I kind of felt this too about the PS5, I'm not PS5, about the PS4 era of PlayStation, right? In terms of like, listen, we've had incredible, incredible triple A third party, not third party, excuse me, first party games on PS4. It has been off the it has been off the chain this entire generation like god of war spider-man horizon zero dawn i can name a ton you know what i'm saying like like, like we've had so many bangers in Miss second son not not a great banger but a good banger it was good it was good you know what i'm saying as an infamous fan second son it was a good banger, you know what I'm saying? But uh, there has been a little bit of a lull in terms of not having these really cool, unique indie games make it onto PS4, or at least have the prominent like oomph that they did with the PS3 era. Because because PS3 era, there were some weird like Journey. Bro, where, Journey was like one of the most interesting, weird things to come out. Of the PS3 era, and there's a bunch of other ones like um, I can't remember until my head, but like just what I'm trying to say here is that you know back during the PS3 era, there was an emphasis on you know indies and how like there was even that PlayStation initiative in terms of like uh uh you know PlayStation loves indies and they definitely like they would even set aside like different sections of of E3 and different uh, parts of their whole entire uh e3 conference dedicated to indie games you know what i'm saying like like they really supported indies a lot during ps3 and it looks like that hasn't been the case with playstation era you know what i'm saying i mean playstation 4 era specifically you know not saying that there wasn't any indie games on ps4 because there definitely was but i just feel like the the emphasis they had and the overall like i guess time that they had on playstation you know conferences or or any of that sort just wasn't really up to the scale it was at ps3 and so it looks like she was trying to bring that back it looks like here and so i think it's a really 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 cool thing that you know there's there's going to be this kind of new uh section of playstation dedicated you know that kind of harbinges back to that indie past that they had a lot of prominence in and and it was something that you know we all definitely saw, well i don't know if we all saw it but i definitely saw it 
how like that was kind of missing during the ps4 era at least in my opinion so what do you guys think about this man i mean you know amongst there's there's definitely a lot of cool things going on on playstation that i don't know if they'll be good or worse right in terms of there's a lot of leadership shifting there's a lot of things going on we had sean Layden leave we have shu taking the position during the indie thing we have jim ryan becoming ceo this year as well now we have herman host herman host uh that's going to take up yo she does role in terms of uh, being being the new head of the uh, studios at playstation and so it looks like there's definitely a lot of cool shifting going on with ps5 and i think that we will really see the fruits that bear of this whole shifting when ps5 comes out you know what i'm saying i don't think we will see it in the immediate future i'm not expecting like a wave of indie games to come out uh or come onto the platform maybe indie games that have been on other platforms and haven't gone to playstation yet you know i think that'd be cool to see um you know that that are on like either switch or xbox you know what i'm saying but um i think that i think that we are seeing the shiftings of a new of a new generation literally you know not only with ps5 but also with over here in terms of internally you know of 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 who is where and where they're shifting and stuff like that and their different uh roles within the company of playstation it's pretty cool to see right and we will have to see if this all you know turns out a-okay or if it turns out negatively let me know what you guys think in the comments below what do you guys think about this whole shift thing do you, do you think it's a bad thing do you think this is a you know bad sign that maybe they're getting a little bit you know scared or something like that let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and make sure also while you are down there to check out our description where you can find our twitter our discord join those follow the twitter feed as well as our anchor link down below where you can uh follow our long form content in playstation format in playstation format in podcast format that being of course road to part two as well as our cross circle podcast that goes live when no saturdays and Mon tuesdays jesus saturday and tuesdays respectively and uh, of course if you like the video make sure to like it as well as stay subscribed to playstation source to keep up with latest and greatest in PlayStation. Thank you for watching, and as always, greatness awaits.